All right, yo, what's up, guys? Red Wreck here, bringing you guys a new video for today. And now everyone's asking me, where's the videos at, Wreck? Where they at? All right. Now, first off, I just want to say thank you to everyone that was like concerned, like why I wasn't uploading videos and everything like that. Like a lot of you guys reached out to me on Twitter, like, yo, bro, you good? You good? Like you're not making videos. You're usually making videos and I'm perfectly fine, guys. Don't worry about me. But the last week was actually kind of crazy. It was pretty hard for me. I had like one of the sickest weeks I've ever had like I was in bed barely went up barely even like played anything didn't want to hop on Fortnite. didn't want to do anything I would actually just like sleep for most of my day just because I didn't I didn't feel good at all I, I I'm still taking my medication and yeah it's it sucks it really does suck and now the thing about me being sick that whole week is that I was not productive at all not only with YouTube but like with anything I wasn't going to the gym I wasn't going to train I wasn't going out with my friends I was I really wasn't doing anything I was just laying there sick in bed sleeping eating and sleeping some more like it was a really bad cycle and i hated it being sick made me counterproductive and me not being productive and not doing anything of value just really sucks i i hate it so much now i'm not gonna go out on a limb and say i was like depressed because you know your boy's always staying positive but like i really felt at one of my lowest points that whole it like it's bad all right i was sick i hated it it made me feel like crap Cause all I did was sleep for a lot of people that sounds great to them you know they get to sleep a lot and that's their whole life but for me it's like I'm bored if I'm doing nothing you know I'd rather be being productive so here's the deal I spent a lot of time dwelling on you know future things like I don't know I don't it, it sounds cheesy but like I would lay in bed and I just start thinking like years down the road like what am I really gonna be doing and, and all this craziness going on in your head that's like I don't, I don't know I don't know I really regret not being able to upload videos but at the same time it was good to have like a hard reset because it's so easy like when I was just, uh, like when I was just making videos every single day, just like focusing on, oh, what's my next video gonna be? Hopping on Call of Duty, trying to hit some clips, trying to grind for a video, stressing out over it. Next day, what am I gonna make? Next day, what am I gonna make? Oh, what if I can't get this video done today? What am I gonna do for tomorrow? Like, it was really stressful. Especially for the kind of content that I make, it's like, it's very demanding as to what you guys wanna see in a video because I've kind of built a really niche fan base is that how you say it niche niche I've really built a niche kind of fan base for what I do it's like all you guys just want to see trick shotting trick shotting trick shotting hit shots funny videos trick shotting and that's awesome right that's really awesome I love the fact that I've built my channel more of a fan base and a community rather than just like clickbaiting and getting search engine optimization with keywording and tags and keyword phrases and all that stuff and just you know getting the viewer traffic and getting the clicks and getting you know the good thumbnail and the good title and getting all of that good stuff other than an actual community so I'm very proud that I've actually been able to build a community of people that like what I do for what I do and there's another part to that that I'm gonna get into in a little bit but basically as I was mentioning earlier it's really easy for you to get kind of sidetracked to the bigger picture when all you're focusing on is you know what am I gonna upload next what's tomorrow's video gonna be what am I gonna do for the next one so it's easy to lose track of that big picture and if I sound and if these words sound familiar it's because very similarly Casey Neistat said basically the same thing when he addressed why he took a break from YouTube and it makes sense and now guys I, I'm making Casey Neistat references because when I was sick this whole last week literally I just sat in bed if I wasn't sleeping I was awake eating food and watching YouTube videos and I happened to be watching a lot of Casey Neistat ever since he restarted the daily vlog I don't know so yeah while I didn't enjoy being sick in bed not being productive and not doing anything at the same time I don't regret it because it allowed me to just like open mindly think about like the bigger picture in the grand scheme of things of you know what i want to pursue bigger than just uploading youtube videos every single day you know there's always got to be a bigger picture and a bigger goal to reach you know what i mean you got to set the bars high anyways 
since I didn't mention Casey Neistat, I think I just want to show one clip that's going to bring me into the next point that I want to talk about, that I want to like kind of get into without like throwing it in your face. So I want you guys to see this nice little clip from one of his recent videos. Audiences in general are fickle. When they discover your channel, um, maybe people discovered my channel in 2015, they found a vlogger. And then when I went to making short videos from vlogging, they're like, this isn't what I signed up for. They take ownership of the channel at the time that they discovered that channel. And change is something that people have a tendency to reject. But my interest, and I think the passion of, of a lot of creators on this platform, is first to make great work. And if you're conforming to what you think your audience wants, I think you're not being true to that mission of making great work. Now it's scary, and it's scary for me, but I'm not afraid of change, and I'm not afraid to change. See, being original isn't about being first, it's about being different and about being better. Okay, so there's a few things that I wanna touch on that have direct correlation to exactly what he said. First things first, he mentioned something about audiences can be fickle. And basically what that means is what I basically tried to explain earlier is that I made a lot of Call of Duty trick shotting videos. I even made memes about not uploading Fortnite. Like I like I created such a niche fan base because of what I do, you know, I always did like that niche community kind of stuff with the MW3 out of map trick shotting. You know, the ghost, all the underrated low-key games that I was playing, the COD 2 and all that other stuff. I did create a niche fan base, which I love because it's a community and not just a bunch of people that randomly clicked on my video just because I had a clickbait title and a clickbait thumbnail and I have the search engine optimized tags and everything as I am reiterating from what I mentioned before. So while I am very happy that I have more of a community rather than just, you know, people that just stopped in and left, at the same time, I created a, I created a community of such a niche liking, like, I created a community of such a niche liking to the point where if I was to upload anything else, I'd, I definitely get hate, you know what I mean? Like, if I was to make a Fortnite video last week, oh man, the comments, yeah, like, I, yeah. I, like, even without uploading Fortnite video, even when I made a joke about uploading a Fortnite videos, you'd see the comments, yeah, bro, if you upload Fortnite, I'm unsubscribing. If I see Fortnite, I'm unsubscribing. If you stop trick shotting, I'm unsubscribing. That sucks to hear, but I brought that upon myself. As sad as it is, the kind of content that I push myself to making consistently every single day, I force that upon myself. And a lot of people have sympathy for me when I say that, but it's true. There's, there's really nothing else to it. And it's not a bad thing. It's just like, that's the kind of niche community and fan base that I've grown. Now, there's a lot of you guys, of course, that are like, bro, just upload whatever you want. Be happy. You know, your true fans will stick with you. But I mean, I have a lot of true fans that only want to watch what I'm currently making. So, so it's not like I'm completely oblivious to the fact that a lot of people initially subscribed to me, as Casey said, for what they first saw when they came to my channel. Now, like I said, it does suck that I brought it upon myself. And part of me almost wants to feel like I failed somewhere along the way to because I'm not at a point where I can upload whatever I want and I wouldn't get any differential. Is that even a word? <laughs> and I wouldn't get any different feedback than I normally would. But unfortunately, with the upcoming changes, yeah, hey, stuff's gonna happen. You know, a lot of you guys, if you don't like it and you wanna unsubscribe, you know what? I love you and I appreciate you for being here while you were here. But I mean, hey, I can't stop you. So I appreciate all the support and everything, but like, if, if you don't like what I'm gonna be doing and don't get too scared, all right, guys? Trick shotting is still like a big thing for me. But I'm just gonna do what I enjoy. It's not every day that I'm able to just hop on and make a Call of Duty video and have it come out good. Because as Casey said, one of the first things that you have to put before like what your audience wants is to make great work or something along those lines. And I cannot make great work doing trick shotting and that kind of stuff every single day. 
And if I'm not uploading every single day, then I feel like I'm missing out on something much more. I'm kind of going a little bit all over the place with my thoughts. Hopefully you guys are able to kind of construe what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I didn't want to say that to make it sound scary, like no more Call of Duty. But here's the thing. My motto has always been you can have fun on any game you play as long as you're playing it with the right people. I've never been a free for all kind of guy. If you guys have been with me ever since like Saul back in the days, one of the things that like made me stand out and why I believe I got it so far is that like like a lot of people would do FFA cut comms back in the day for example I including me here and there but like I started doing like FFA with friends and then I started doing like the SND and then I just got really good at making SND videos with facecam with my friends and like Casey also said in that little uh, clip that I showed being original isn't about being first it's about being different and being the best or something along those lines and when it came to making snd videos snd highlight videos with my friends i could see it in myself and i was it's not cocky it's just being very proud of the content that i made i was very happy with how my snd videos would come out and when i do mw3 out of map trick shotting all that good stuff there was very few people that were able to do it right and i was one of them that was able to kind of do it right and that's actually sean told me before i even joined red he was like wreck one of the things you got going is that with the kind of videos you make not a lot of people could do it right you're doing it right for so for some reason i don't know why that stuck out to my head but yeah back to the point i was making you can have fun doing anything and it was fun you know when world war ii came out and i was grinding for red all my friends would hop on every single day and we'd grind for clips. You know, when I was in Dare, I had all my friends that would hop on, whether it was MW3 or any other game, and we'd play every single day. But now everyone's playing Fortnite, you know what I mean? And I'm not the kind of person that likes to sit around and make a solo video. You know, I tried to play Black Ops 3 the other week for like five hours straight, just recording footage, and I still have so many hours of footage on my Elgato that I can edit into a video, but it's not the same. And my main focus is to put out great work and content that I enjoy, that I personally like had fun making. And don't get me wrong, I had fun trick shotting, even though it wasn't with my original like group of friends that I really like to play with. I still had fun. We didn't hit a shot for one, you know, we didn't hit a shot. And two, it it just the vibe was different i don't know if, if i don't feel like it's worthy of an upload then i'm not gonna upload it now with that being said i don't want you guys to think like oh so what are you gonna do only upload fortnite no there's other stuff that i'm gonna upload besides fortnite but yes a lot of you guys okay fine i'll say it i want to upload fortnite why i mean i enjoy it I'm good at it. It's the first ever non-Call of Duty game I've ever played. To, to be completely honest with you, like, ever since I started playing COD, like, other than Mario Kart, like, nothing else besides Call of Duty I would play year after year. Oh, yo, hop on CSGO, hop on this, hop on that. I would never play it, but for some reason, I got into Fortnite, and I mean, I kind of like it, you know? You can't blame me for liking Fortnite, as do a lot of people. So, if you guys see a Fortnite video in your sub box here and there, and you decide to unsubscribe, just know that you don't have to. You can just skip that video because top plays. I'll still be doing my Call of Duty top plays. My previous video, oh my god, my voice. I, I need some water. My previous video was like the Rec Reacts video where like you guys were sending me like your team tages, your episodes, your montages, your like your RC responses, your clips and everything and I would react to them and you guys would just you guys just killed it on that video. You guys absolutely love that video. So I'm definitely going to be doing more of that video. And of course, like MW2, like the RTAX and stuff. I'll try to do those when I can. But it's just so hard because all my content was just, you know, trick shotting with my friends and having a good time playing Call of Duty. But now it's like if no one's on COD to play with. I'm not a free-for-all player, you know, that's just not my thing. I don't have fun doing that. I have fun playing Call of Duty with my friends and having a good time. 
but when, when, when no one's on or when you can't get that video done and it doesn't feel good, then I just can't make a Call of Duty video every single day. So in order to compromise from that, I'm going to start playing other games that I really enjoy playing no matter what they are, including there's this one game. I actually heard about it because my dude Agony Goodbrowski, he was playing it in a video and he called it like the new Call of Duty. And this is a game called Iron Sight. Now... I've never played a game on a keyboard and mouse. I actually just tried playing it on keyboard and mouse. I failed miserably. So if I somehow, and it's not on Steam, so I can't do like controller configuration until like the full game is released, hopefully on Steam. It's only a beta right now. But if I do happen to get like my controller set up with the, uh, with the, with my PC and I can actually play like that Iron Sight game on PC, that'd be pretty damn cool. I could probably even trick shot because there is S and D. If you guys actually play Iron Sight, maybe if you even play with a controller, yo, hit me up. Like, like, shoot me a message, shoot me a tweet at RedRec underscore. Shoot me a tweet because sometimes I might miss a few comments here and there. But if you guys tweet at me, most likely I don't see it all the time, but I will see it. So tweet me if you actually play that Iron Sight game. It's really cool. It's just like Call of Duty. I want to get into that if I can. Obviously, I'm going to be making Fortnite videos because I just really enjoy that. But, of course, I'm still going to be making Call of Duty video, guys. Don't get, like, don't get it twisted, all right, Sharkeisha? Like, just relax, relax. I'm actually playing Ghost right now, but you guys just can't see. Well, I'm not playing, but I'm on the main menu of Ghost. I don't know why. It's just because Fortnite's updating. Anyways, <laughs> long story short, trick shotting videos are still going to come out. Top plays videos are still going to come out. The Rec Reacts video, which is like a top plays, but I, I just watch your videos and episodes and montages. Those videos, they're still going to come out. So, guys, there's a lot of trick shotting to go around on this channel. But in order for me to be productive as possible and make great content every single day, I can't do only trick shotting. That's the whole point of this video. If, if there's one sentence that you guys watch out of the whole video, it was that sentence right there. If I want to be productive every single day... Then I got to do everything else I enjoy but in addition to trick shotting, not besides trick shotting, but in addition to trick shotting and making those Call of Duty videos. So, yeah, basically, that's all I wanted to say. Don't get scared. I'm not going to just. I, OK, I will be uploading a lot more Fortnite, maybe even more than COD. But, like, it'll be decently balanced because I'll still have, you know, the top plays. And it's a big mix up. You know, it's a big change. And the only reason I'm making this video so long and so serious is because I really want to explain to you my logic behind why I want to not stray away from Call of Duty, but do other things that I enjoy besides Call of Duty or in addition to Call of Duty. So I hope you guys really understand that. I really hope I explain that to the best of my ability. It's just that like, if I'm not uploading, I'm not happy. I'd rather I'd rather um, upload every single day and maybe get a little bit of backlash because maybe it's a Fortnite video or a, a non-trick shotting video. I'd rather upload every single day, be productive and be happy and face a couple of negative comments, the couple of people that might unsubscribe, than only upload a Call of Duty video twice a week. Like I I that makes me depressed to be honest. I. You know, I like it, but I can't do it every single day if I don't got the homies on it every single day. Now, with that being said, when Black Ops 4 comes out, for example, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the damn same thing as World War II. I'm going to grind that game every single day because all my friends will be playing that game every single day. And then that's just how it's going to be. And I'm super excited for that, but like that's a couple months away. So for now, it's going to be mostly Call of Duty, mostly Fortnite, mostly the top plays, the Rec Reacts, and all that other good stuff. And then a couple of other things here and there that I randomly decide to do because at the end of the day, it's my channel. And as a lot of you guys have said, if you guys are true supporters, you'll watch me no matter what. So I really hope that I can kind of... Uh, evolve my content into being more about me than more about just like my trick shots if that makes any sense because i feel like i could have done a better job doing that so i really hope you guys understand really hope you guys did enjoy this video i will not have likes and dislikes uh disabled or enabled my bad <laughs> yeah been talking too long but yeah i just don't feel like ratings are necessary on a kind of video like this what i would like to see is some positive comments so if you guys are still with me if you guys are supporting me drop a fat heart 
comment, you know, the, the little uh, less than sign with a little three or something in the comments to let you guys know f so that you guys can let me know that you guys are still here supporting me. So, yeah, new video tomorrow. I don't know what it's going to be. Maybe it's COD. Maybe it's Fortnite. Maybe it's Iron Sight, that new game. Maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe it's something else interesting. Maybe it's a top place. Who knows? But, yeah. Whatever it is, hope you guys stick around. It's been Red Wreck. Love you guys, and I'll catch you guys later.